The ghosts in the woods. I was a curious kid. I had a wild imagination. Didn't have any friends, and my parents were always biting. So I loved going out into the woods near my house to explore. When I was about seven years old, I decided to run away. Packed a bag with books and a stuffed Power Ranger toy and headed off into the woods. I figured I could live off leaves and berries and learn to speak to wolves and end up like Mowgli in the Jungle Book. Of course, I started to get hungry and homesick within a few hours of walking. There weren't really any trails, but I was pretty sure I could find my way back home. I was too stubborn to go back though, so I kept walking. Suddenly, I heard something that sounded like rock music. It seemed to be coming from not too far off, so I figured I would walk toward it. Maybe there'd be food. And then I saw the ghosts. There were at least 15 of them standing in a big circle. They seemed to be gathering around something that looked to me from a distance like a small tree. The music kept playing, but they stood like statues, unmoving except for the wind. Then the tree they were standing around started burning, and one of the ghosts shouted something. The others chanted something else back in response. I couldn't hear what they were saying, so I crept closer until I could feel the heat of the fire, using what I knew about hunting for my dad so I wouldn't make any noise. One of the ghosts walked over to a thick tree, reached behind it, grabbed onto something and pulled violently. It was a man. His face was covered, but he was clearly a human being, not a ghost, like the others. Silently, another ghost walked behind the man and put something over his head, which dropped down around his neck. I remember thinking it looked like they were crowning him. I wondered if they were going to turn him into a ghost too. A second later, the man started flying, hovering in the air. The others started cheering. So he was getting ghost powers. I wanted to go even closer to ask if they could teach me to fly too, but I chickened out. Feeling dejected in my inability to float or talk to strangers and too hungry to ignore it anymore, I turned around and started to head back home. When I looked back toward the ghosts, it looked like they had set another fire. I couldn't see the flying man anymore. It wasn't until years later when we learned about the KKK in history class that I realized what I had actually seen.